Another kind of menu -y thing you can do is to uh, is that you can make uh, grids. I will just make a grid of uh, sculpts. Okay. Well, one way of doing it would be to make one of these with it with the logic that is required. So let's um, let's add a chip on here and it's going to make it glow with a keyframe at the right time and um, we'll have a tag so we've got a column one and a row one so then uh, if we grab Put that um, chip in a more useful place. Like there. Okay. Now uh, we have a trigger zone, and that will cover that row of buttons, basically. And then you have row two and row three column i've been saying row the whole time in there then you have ones for the rows and that will be rotate around like that so we've got um trigger zones that cover the different columns and trigger zones that cover the different rows and all of the columns look for a tag called column and all of the rows look for a tag called row and then in here you have a tag called column and a tag called row but they'll only know they're activated at the right time so if you use an AND gate then if, the, if, if this cube is in the current column and the current row then activate it and you can have like whatever else you might have when you press X store a number or display something or whatever you want to do so now if I copy that um, yeah so these should all be off uh, copy this around Cool. So now, if we just use a switch and and turn on the first column and the second row, then that one turns on because that's the first column and the second row. Uh, so now we can use selectors. If we add a selector, this will be um, for our current columns. So there's three columns. And they power the different column trigger zones like that and then we have one for the rows so there's three rows and they'll power the three row trigger zones and then we can change those using a a controller sensor put it onto remote control use the d-pad again so when we move up we want to go to the previous row and down we'll go to the next row left will go to the previous column and right will go to the next column but the thing is because we're in edit mode pressing left and right is dangerous because <laughs> that un undoes and redoes stuff so what i tend to do is add another controller sensor and use L1 or whatever you want to do to power that. So now when I play time, then I have to hold L1 and L1 and left and right doesn't do anything. So that's fine. And it loops around and uh, yeah. I'd like to thank Dead MC, Keld Beyond, Mobius DT and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Thanks for watching. 
If you'd like me to continue making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.